Hello everyone! I don't know how many of you have found this place yet. I mean, this could be old news, but I thought I'd make a video anyway for those who haven't or those who are new to the game. This is actually a pretty cool place, one of the few that is not just another abandoned industrial outpost that kind of always looking the same. So this is pretty unique and it is called the DiGiorno... Uh, wait, okay, it is Sony Defalcos Island. Some people has been calling it the Party Island, the Party Mansion or something like that in Reddit. And it is located here in the system of Maheo, which is right next to Cheyenne. And once you go there, it is on Maheo 1. I don't know if it's going to show up the name or if the name only shows up once you've been there, but it is here. And it's a pretty interesting place. Like once you get here, you have really a couple of ways to get in. You can use the main door, which is on the first floor, just off of your landing pad. Or if you want, you have another entrance, which is down there by the terrace. So there's a door right there where I'm pointing. Or if you want to go in stealth, there is this vent that you can use to get inside the house. There are many vents inside this place that you should go through there because they will take you to certain places that I think they're locked from the outside that you can unlock only from the inside as well as to go into a couple of bedrooms where you will be able to find the actual master key to open some of those locked doors. There's pretty much nothing inside the vents to loot, no, no secrets there, but the mansion itself does have plenty of things for you to loot. I mean, there's a lot of credit sticks laying around. The place is going to be full of pirates. So depending on your faction, you might end up having to fight them or they just gonna be chilling with you. If you fight the pirates, like I did, the last pirate, the mini boss or something, will drop a legendary. At least it did it for me. Now here's my suggestion. Every time you see an Aurora, you gotta take it. You gotta get high, then after that, you're gonna eat something. Don't worry if your health bar is full or not, and then go loot or shoot the pirates. And repeat. And that's, all, that's what I did. Every Aurora that I saw, I pretty much took it. I got high and I ate some sandwiches. And then I shot people. So that is, I think, is the best way to run this. So it's a pretty cool place. Definitely check it out. I definitely enjoy coming here even for the second time because I was here quite early on but I kind of just thought I'd revisit this place one more time and this time actually make a video as well. The only thing that I wish they'd done is that actually not have this place like abandoned and overrun by pirates and actually have this place still going on like with the guy maybe just alive and a lot of people just partying and everything i think that that would be so much better you know have a beautiful place like this where there's actually people just enjoying having fun because we don't have a place like that at all at least haven't found one yet this place is actually relatively big. You have outside, you have the top, the terrace, you have a couple of stories inside and you have a pool. So it's actually a really good place that I think that making it into this kind of abandoned place overrun with paras, I think it was a bit of a misfire. I mean, you have poles here. So have a couple of uh, girls dancing, maybe it would have been good. I hope you guys enjoy it, have fun, and I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video.